would be untrue You know that I would be a liar If I was to say to you Girl, we couldn't get much higher Come on, baby, light my fire Come on, baby, light my fire Try to set the night on fire Manzarek and Jim Manzarek formed the foundation of Rick and the Ravens. We're going to go inside. We're going to take a look at where it all happened, where the doors began. I'm sitting at the bar, the original bar, which in 1965 was here at Turkey Joint West at 116 Santa Monica Boulevard in Santa Monica, California. Jim Morrison would come here and sit on these bar stools every week, and he'd get drunk. He'd get totally plastered, Ray Manzarek said. And he'd sit here and he'd watch across the room as Rick and the Ravens would play their songs. They played rhythm and blues, and it was all good music. But Jim Morrison got up and he would yell, Sing Louie Louie! And every night they'd get fed up with hearing this drunken kid. Well, one week they got fed up, and Ray Manzarek said to him, You sing Louie Louie! Jim got up off the bar stool, totally drunk, walk over here to where the band was playing, and he got up here on the little stage and he sang with Rick and the Ravens. He sang Louie Louie. And they were astounded at what they heard. From then on, Rick was a member of this group, Rick and the Ravens, which changed its name that fall in November to The Doors. From there, their path was paved through rock and roll history. But they went up the street a few blocks to the Aura Sound Studios or it was called the World Pacific Jazz Studios, and they recorded six sides, one of which was Hello, I Love You. Now, I want you to come with me. We're going to go up there. We're going to see where this group that became The Doors in November of 1965 recorded their first songs on vinyl. Let's take a walk. In August of 1965, the group, still known as Rick and the Ravens, with Jim Manzarek, Ray Manzarek, and the leader of the group, Rick Manzarek, came over here with Jim Morrison as their lead singer. Robbie Krieger hadn't joined the group yet. Robbie was still a member of the Psychedelic Rangers, and he didn't join Rick and the Ravens and change the name to the Doors until October of 1965, but they recorded six songs here. They recorded Hello, I Love You, Go Insane, Moonlight Drive, they recorded My Eyes Have Seen You. They recorded End of the Night and Summer's Almost Gone. They recorded inside that store, the White Buffalo Furniture Store. It was a recording studio back in 1965 in August when they came over here. It was called the World Pacific Jazz Studio or the Aura Recording Studio. By the time the band formed in August of 1965, John Densmore was playing on drums. Ray Manzarek, Rick Manzarek, and Jim Manzarek were playing. They were playing keyboards and guitar. Robbie Krieger hadn't joined them yet. Robbie doesn't join them from the Psychedelic Rangers until October of 1965. And he had been playing in the Psychedelic Rangers with John Densmore on drums, but John came over before Robbie did. And they had Pat Hansen. Pat was a female, but she left the group shortly after they recorded here. It's been almost 50 years, it's, well, 49 years. But if you take a look around, you can see it's the same old place, the same old paint, and I swear it hasn't been rehabbed, hasn't been painted in all that time. This is it, this is where it all happened. This is where they set up the drums, this is where they brought the guitars, and this is where Jim Morrison began. His first recording session, with it was Rick and the Ravens back then. It wasn't The Doors. Time stood still here in the World Pacific Jazz Studios, and it's the same men's room. Jim came in the door. There's a killer on the road. His brain is squirming like a toad. Take a long holiday. The cabinet is the same cabinet. Let your children. 50 years ago. Nothing has changed. Hey, this is it. This is where Rick and the Ravens used the bathroom and the back room and they, they sang and they recorded. This is where they began their path through rock and roll history.
Bye-bye.